And so to the World Kyrene Championship, and this is heat number three in the second round. Frédéric Magnier of France, Fabius Kola, Nikolai Koska, Mikael Hubner, Eric Schuffs, and Lars Nielsen. And there's already been some great competition, and the big man is in this in fourth place at the moment, Mikael Hubner, second in the sprint competition. And the view there from the pacing motorbike. The rider's not allowed to pass the pacing motorbike until two and a half laps to go to the finish when the motorbike will fall away from the track. Then it is literally a free-for-all and the first two riders back will qualify for the next round. The motorbike has gone and it wasn't all that was gone in this particular heat either because the French riders were acting a little bit naughty. Michael Hubner goes high on the banking and as he tries to come down, it is Kola who's trying to hold him away from his teammate Manye. Manye has the lead, but Kola is trying to keep Hubner high on the track. Hi. Eric Schuffs of Belgium is on the wheel of Hubner, and then you saw a touch of shoulders, and in fact it was Kola who was blamed for the crash there, deliberately bringing down Mikhail Hubner, was what the judges said, and as a result, the heat was rerun with Kola disqualified. But in the rerun, Michael Hubner was unable to ride because he had broken his collarbone and was out of these championships. The man who has won the World Carrying Championship since 1990 was out at this stage because of a deliberate fall. The other rider who fell was Eric Schuffs, who also didn't come out for the rerun of this match either. Well, the judges were very adamant that Kola made a deliberate move there to keep Hugner away from his teammate Manier, although the French appealed, that appeal was turned down. And in fact, Eric Schuffs, the former champion of Belgium, very lucky there as he went over the top of Mikael Hubner as well. He was uninjured, but out of the competition. So this has not been a happy championship for Mikael Hubner. And the same could be said, of course, for Eric Schuss. And so that brought together in the final some of the fastest riders in the world without the fastest man, Mikhail Hubner. And Yoshioka of Japan, Nostein of USA, Niwon of Australia, Yamada of Japan, Manye of France, and Kofsha of Russia. This is a Japanese discipline where they have many thousands of cyclists to do it in Japan and people bet on the results. And that is the reason it was introduced into these World Championships a few years ago. No betting here, of course, but the championship has proved to be very, very popular. And now the amateurs race with the professionals, the entry has increased, and so too has the excitement of the racing. The motorbike pacing the riders round for the moment. This is Yoshioka of Japan setting the pace. Anybody can come up behind the motorbike, but they like to come from the back once the motorbike goes down. And now Yoshioka has the lead too, but Nostein is in second place, and the other Japanese riders up there too, and that is Yamada. And now Yoshioka has got the lead. This is how he won his heats as he came through. He's got tremendous speed at the front, but Nostein is going with him. This surprise from Trexelan, 22 years of age, and coming through on the inside now, we've got the other Japanese rider too. At the bell this time, Niwon in fourth place, moving up on the outside. Gary Niwon going for the double here. He's got the spin already. He's got third place now. He's forced the second Japanese out of it. And now coming up over the top of them too is the rider from Russia. But look at the inside here now. The rider comes through on the inside. Manye comes through on the inside. He takes it on the line. But you know, I have a feeling that Frédéric Manye was not on the track there when he came through on the inside. We'll see it again in slow motion. He's not looking like a man who really believes he's won the world title. He's looking around for confirmation. He spotted his coach and gives him a flags up. But look at this. The race commissaires are looking at the rerun. This is what they will see. We have the Japanese riders setting the pace initially into the corner. Marty Nostein riding so well coming over the top of Yoshioka. And Gary Niwon gathering speed in third place. Watch the rider in the blue coming in from the right. This is Frédéric Manier. Now, does he go off the track off the bend? He's not allowed onto the blue ribbon of the track in the finishing sprint. He's close at this point, but no problem at all, although Yoshioka's bobbing around a bit. But now he is off the track, and in fact, he does go off the track, although he thinks he's won. But you know, I think Gary Niwon is the rider who has won the title. There again is the replay. Niwon is nearest the camera, and he was certainly best of the rest. 
And Manye is walking away, and I think he's been told. In fact, yes, he has. The victory has gone to Gary Niewon of Australia. He has landed the double, which was held by Mikael Hubner of Germany, who crashed out of this championship with a broken collarbone. Nostein, the surprise second place, and a great ride by him, and Yoshioka getting third place.